Hello, I'm an engineer on the Visual Studio Editor team. Today I will be demonstrating our latest productivity feature, Rename Suggestions. Leveraging Copilot, we can now offer automatic naming suggestions for methods, variables, class names, etc. Here's a simple example where we have a C++ console application with three methods that print hello world, foo, and bar. Let's rename print one. First, I select print one, press rename. Notice there is a new rename suggestions button to the right of the dropdown. I select this and this will send a request to Copilot. Copilot then responds with five naming suggestions ranked by the provided context. In this case, print hello world makes the most sense. I select that and press apply. Let's rename print two. Again, I select the rename suggestions button, pick the response I like the most, and press apply. We can also do this for print three. This is a simple example. Let's move on to a more complicated one. Here we have a C++ console application with some code that prints the largest of three numbers. I want to refactor this into its own function. Let's do that now. I select a track function. And now we can rename the new function. Find largest number describes exactly what we're trying to do. Let's select that. And now we can rename the variables. Starting with N1. Notice that first number is the first response. I like number one the most. Let's go with that. Now when I rename N2, notice that the responses rankings change based on the provided context. Number two is now the first response. Rename suggestions is available in 1710. Give it a try. Hi, I'm an engineer on the VS Editor team. Over the last few releases, we have overhauled our search experience, and today I will be demoing all-in-one search. As the name implies, all-in-one search combines VS Search and GoToAll for a single search experience within VS. To open, first select the search button at the top of VS. A search panel will show with two tabs, one for code search and the other feature search. Code search will match results from your code base and feature search will match results from VS features, windows, and commands. Let's do a code search. I select the code search tab and I type update state. As I type, results will filter in. When I select a result, it'll navigate to that page. What if instead I want to find the update state type? I can press Ctrl T to open directly to code search. And this time from the four filters, I can press the types filter. And this will filter the results to only types. The first one is the result I want. And it'll open the page as I select it. Let's do a feature search. I can press Ctrl Q to open the feature search window and I can look for Get Changes. Results filter in. I select Get Changes and it'll open the relevant window. In 1710, we've also added plain text search to all-in-one search. Plain text search will match your search term to text in your code base. To perform a plain text search, I simply press Alt-Shift-F to open the code search window filter to text. And as I type, text matches will filter in. As I navigate up and down in the list, notice that the preview document on the right also matches the result. All-in-one search is available in 1710. Give it a try. Hi, everyone. I'm an engineer on the Visual Studio Editor team, and today I'd like to show you some of the new productivity features now available in 1710 Preview 3. You can see my Visual Studio here, and I've created a C++ program using an open source image processing library called OpenCV. Our first new productivity feature I'd like to mention is called Image Hover Preview, and this is applicable when working with images within your programs. 
So if I hover over this image file path referenced in code here on line 10, we'll see that a preview of the image appears. And if I click on the image, we'll see that image um, pop up in my default image viewer. Image hover preview applies to basic file types such as PNG, JPEG, GIF, etc., as well as base64 encoded strings, one of which I have in a comment here. We can see what that preview looks like. And additionally, image hover preview works for Visual Studio's imaging namespace and the known moniker class. So I have three different monikers I've chosen here that with all three we can see previews of the icon. The second productivity feature I'd like to introduce is called Sticky Scroll. As I scroll down in my program, we can see a, a series of nested statements. And in order to help you stay aware of your location in code, Sticky Scroll shows nested statements at the top of the editor. So we can see right now I'm in this else condition. Thirdly, a feature called Auto Surround is useful for wrapping selections of code in brackets or quotes. So here in my program, on line 25, I have a one-line if statement that I'd like to wrap in braces for readability's sake. So all I have to do is select the line, and then I just press Shift and then Open Brace, and we see that automatically um, the braces surround the selection. And the last productivity feature I'd like to show is called brace pair colorization. And when enabled, it shows colorized open and closed brackets to easily visually display sections of code. So we can see that my first open brace is yellow and second is blue, third is pink. And I'll go ahead and run this program. And what this does is inverts the colors of my image using OpenCV. It popped up here on my other screen. That's what this program does. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope that these new features enhance your productivity within Visual Studio. Thanks.